Chris McCree. He's going to be tickling them at range at best. See that headshot? It did a third oh. of Leaves HP. Flora's uh, already dead as the point does unlock and the hunters get the cap. That's all thanks to Ivalto also being right there with that damage boost. Bonbong's going down too. Late Young finding the opportunity. Not only did they get out rotated, Jaws, but now they're going to be forced to reset. The Hunter's playing already aggressively, prioritizing their positioning. There was no name. Oh. Jonah Kashi ends up going down to Gargar of all people. At least they trade, but now Leaf's standing on high ground with the window. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so revenge here. Gonbong also finding Leaf's head. Nice little trip to stay on this point, but they have to. It's overtime already taking away. And with the rest coming in, Leaf is right back in the action. Kalios goes down, and so does Friday. And the NYXL already at a disadvantage. Yapung manages to touch, keeping it into overtime. But for how much longer here, they need to find these pigs, Jaws. Yeah, it's not going to happen, though. Late Young is going to kill Flora, and that should just be it. There's the slam and the Storm Arrow to deny the McCree to touch. Early Gaga saved by the Immortality Field, managing to keep by the wall, but they could isolate Jonak, and they do. They call him out, and Leaf gets a double real quick. Bong Bong's off triple. to the other side of the angle, but yeah, the triple from Leaf of 3K, and the Ant Matrix to add the cherry on top to the Hunter Sunday to get into position, needs to build up that EMP. Bong Bong having the dragons, just sending it forward, and Late Young not only gets DMX, but gets caught in that line of fire. Supercharger now coming in, and Jinmu with a rocket barrage, being able to utilize that pillar just in case for some safety, but didn't get Jonak. That's why you saw the transcend Transcendence coming in, finding that headshot onto Jinmu, and now the NYXL can finally get something started here. They're going to be able to move right onto the point, and the Hunters may have to go for a reset if Yvalto can't get away on time. He has a Discord orb on him, but he's still... Discord, you'd expect him to finish him, but they didn't. Okay, oh. Gargar ends up dying, so uh, yeah, not too bad whatsoever. We've actually seen Jimmu trade over um, his ult charge from the Fara. He did use Barrage oh. in an earlier fight. And Kong Bong finds he had oh. another pick actually on the hands though while I talk about this Sombra. He's popping off. He's not only found two picks here, but he was in position to find Ivalto to punish. The EMP punishes Gaga. Now he goes down. Great follow from Flora. And look at this. Bonbon still terrorizing all the rest of the hunters. He killed four in that fight despite Ivalto getting the res. That was he gets it so quickly. You know, the hack onto Late Young gets demeked, and the dragons are going to be sent in, isolating Late Young. Aga also taking a lot of the damage. Great pressure onto the tanks from the NYXL, but they're the ones also dropping like flies. Friday with the Valk trying to keep everybody alive, but it can't go through Monk's damage output. And Jinmu too. Friday getting the, tr the the res now onto Guangbong, but the Pulse Bomb punishes Jonak. Nobody stick. from the NYXL can even touch the Later, that's the aim of the game. Stop that Mercy healing as well. Just a passive healing. Nice hack onto Kalios. Look at that ult charge from Leave, actually. Oh. They're just, they're almost body blocking him. Jimmy oh. does end up going down. Luckily enough for the NYXL, they're able just to corral around the Hunters. And a hack on Yuvalto. He should be dead. Now, Jonak already has the Transcendence. Oh, the EMP going in from the room, but Jonak is saved as he has a Transcendence. Pulling the trigger on that Friday now with the rally. Kalios gets hit with a big anti, taking a lot of that damage. He felt also the first one to go down. That's why it's so lethal here when you have the Zenyatta and Jonai popping off, keeping the NYXL here. As the out Friday, taking some damage. Kalios also gets hacked, but Friday gets hit with a direct rocket. Jinmu also getting powered up. Hunters are going to be able to get that second take, and the NYXL with Chonak isolated into that side room with just Yapung there to help heal from them. They're still here, they're still here to contest, and the Hunters haven't been able to get this first point just yet with less than 20 seconds. Yeah, Gaga actually gets rezzed eventually, but there's so many small little fights happening everywhere. EMP comes out, finally his Jonek and his Kalios as well. Feather also hacked, but it shouldn't matter all too much. I say that as Leave just gats him down. What? They are touching still oh. though, and Leave just going to town. He finds another one. Ooh, gets the hack onto Flora too. He will fall. Wow. Okay. They eventually oh. get there in the end, but it was overtime. It was just a fantastic EMP from Leave there. Hit four people. Manages to stabilize the rest of the NYXL, and look at the Hunter's positioning. They're playing so passive-aggressive, Jaws, but no one's finding picks just yet, except for Jinmu, who still hasn't been checked, minus the fact that he's taking a lot of damage from those Discord orbs, but he can't be finalized. You have Monk with a super, with a nano boost, and currently, Ivalto being able to help stabilize him as he has the barrage. What can you do at this point? The NYXL are struggling and getting out of their own spawn. Oh my goodness, that... Ivalto, you certainly see Kalios. Just trying to 
scatter them off of his high ground, but Jinmu's not gonna give that up too easily before demecking Kalios, and Leave helps clean up the scraps left behind. Like this look here from the Hunters, but the NYXL, they were just trying to figure out what positioning they could and kind of approach the Hunters, but Jonak finding the belt, so that's a great start here, but they're forced to back off the Takes three shots to kill the oh. Farah, 200 HP's target. Nice kill by Lee, but they trade for Jinmu. Like the comms actually that we're seeing from Jonak, immediately knowing right. that they wanted to focus down Gaga, the nano boost onto Kalios here. It's allowing him to get really aggressive. The follow up Gaga can't do anything. Jonak finishes him off as his back was turned to him. The Hunters have now lost two and they've lost the Ant Matrix, the NYXL. You have Jimmu not only on your back line, but he has the Rocket Barrage. Also getting away, but he can't get away in time. The Rocket Barrage to answer right back, but Jonak punishing Jinmu the moment he presses that button. With the Nano Boost here going in from Jonak, this is the opportunity, the Nano Blade, but the Immortality Field gets deleted immediately. Monk tries to jump away. The NYXL fully capitalizing off of that first pick onto Jinmu. Now cleaning things up from the Hunters at the, as they were trying to hold that high ground Jaws. They're going to be able to push it to their spawn and look at this time bank that they have for themselves. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, Yoto ends up going down. Canada be touched. No, they cannot. The NYXL, three minutes and 30 seconds. From Feather. But they have such limited time that they need to move in. Jinmu already starting off this aggression. Just trying to boot them off of that ground. But Ivelto going down first is not exactly how you want to start this. Kalios gets traded as he gets demeked immediately. And Jinmu's like, all right, that's fine. I have Gaga right here before moving in. And the Hunters are winning in terms of number advantage. Now Flora just having to get away. He may not be able to. Leon also taking a lot of that damage as Ivelto is so <gasps> fixated on Jinmu. But the Dragon to Jinmu getting the boot. Meanwhile, the Dragons from Flora don't clear the point in the way that they want, and OT sticking away, the Rocket Barrage blocking every entrance from the NYXL into entering this point. He's popping off, and this is your worst nightmare if you're dealing with the Hunters, and specifically Jinmu's Fara. Now they have the EMP. Oh, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, he tried to utilize it, but he gets shut down immediately. Kalios also getting hit with the anti, and also getting Lee back into the action after having that Valve to reposition. Gaga gets stunned, and Jonak takes him down. Now the NYXL have that advantage. They have the EMP. It's found Leave and Ivalto, and Leave gets taken out. The NYXL, they successfully hold them back. The Hunters, they can't touch this point with this Minefields. I'll at least try to push it into overtime, but they can't. The Minefields would not have let them. Not enough by the health pack. Just trying to find Ivalto. That would have been absolutely huge, but he's hanging out dangerously close to the Hunters' back line. The lookout here is Jinmu's low, but so is Gaga, and Jinmu goes down first. Despite Lee finding Feather here, they do trade that. Zia Kung also goes down from the NYXL. They're at a tied number advantage here, but the spawn advantage is going to go in favor to the NYXL. The Nana Boost now wasting no time from Jonak up to Kalios. He's going to hang out by that health pack, finding Monk as the Ant Matrix has been released. But Monk goes down and Leaf manages to find Kalios, but look at the way that the Hunters are forced to play now with the rest of the Hunters making their way back from the spawn. Yeah, they have to wait for Jinmu and Yveltal to come back. Lei Yang ends up going down, losing his mech too. Now we got Gargar falling as well. Well, He's setting up in the same position, by the way, Vicky. Too. He knows they yeah. have Rally. Now they're dropping down. Now they're dropping down. Rally. Here comes the Dragon. Easy Dragon. Blocked that was the way so where they could go. That was so free for him. What? Leave. Finding both of the supports. Noticing. All right, they're going to utilize the Rally. Trying to engage through mid. Okay, that's fine. And now the Hunters didn't even have to use any of their ults. Mine is just that. The Primal from Yapung. He dives into the point. He can, Feather gets hacked after utilizing the Blade. And Jinmu kills himself. Too close. You Utilizing that rocket by the wall. Meanwhile, Feathers found Gaga, and with the supercharger not on board, currently have the Hunters making some desperate swaps with Jinmu onto the Doomfist. Lei Young with the reset. Can he get back into his mech? He's won. He can't. Kalios finds him, but Jinmu comes back from the spawn, and they're not there to touch the NYXL. They do it, and they win map number two. Time hack onto Lei Young as well. Not going to result in all too much as Gaga attempts to get healed up, but a oh. little bit of an int there straight into the back line, but enough damage was done to Jonak. Oh. But still, Guangbuk just doing so much work in the back line. Another insta kill on Yveltal. He cannot catch a break. Yveltal's not having fun. Every single. Well, didn't result in anything. Nice re engage. Chuck Pung's in trouble, though. Uh, yep, not only can he not get away, but he took so much damage from the Discord Orb. The Hunters have successfully captured the point, get the payload moving out of the garage. Meanwhile, the NYXL, they're still finding these picks, but it's just a matter of time before the Hunters roll out from the spawn. They have to deal with Bong Bong, who's still on that high ground as he comes back, and he's found Jinmu while well, he's at it too. And YX are going to be able to build into so many of these ultimates for this next choke point. It's going to be so difficult, but they're wasting as much time as they possibly can away from the Hunters. 
Flora maybe looking like he wants to go early. The rest of the team are kind of set up for this too. His transicate has been destroyed though. Here comes the rallies. Oh, here he goes Ooh. though, the EMP. But be oh, because he got rolled in through the side. He was out of that lane of sight. That was actually insane timing right there. Now the Transcendence comes out from Monk to help stabilize the Hunters. At least help them get into position. Avoiding that Diva Bomb, but the Dragons, the remap pick on Tivalto. This is not Tivalto's map, but it's okay because the rest of the Hunters are there to win the fight. Everybody was in that room in the EM. The MYXL, maybe Jonat gets this Transcendence to keep them in the fight. But the Pulse like so might much. be just be too good. Jonat goes down. It is too good. Jonah going down. He won't have the transcendence. He was so close to it, too, and it could have at least helped stabilize the fight. Now with the Hunters taking the second point, three minutes in the time bank, and now they're also going to be able to have this. Be a little bit more careful. There are, he's against a McCree at this point, but nice hack onto Jonah. He can't Ooh, use the transcendence. The they're going to burst him down, and Gargar finds two. Jimmy follows up with another kill onto Friday as well. That is that such an amazing hack. Again, they are tracking Jonah's ult so well. They know they only need to hack him to make sure they get a lot of free push. Rally to keep the NYXL on this point, but the EMP can't be avoided. It's found your Kung. Friday's still safe, and so is Jonak with the Transcendence to help stabilize the rest of the NYXL. Oh. But Monk is also right there, and he saved Lei Young. So Lei Young took so much of the damage, and they don't stay on the point. They're not on the point. The gravel's right there, too, from Kalios. The action. The Hunters are kind of split up here, and with Jimu having this Rocket Barrage, He's and they're falling asleep. I mean, yeah. Solo Barrage death, but they do shut down Jinmu. Kalio's trying to react as quickly as possible, but didn't do anything about Ivelto, who has the res, who managed to get Jinmu back in the fight. Ivelto taking a lot of damage, but he somehow survives. His survivability is insane. Unfortunately, the same can't be said. Uh, Rocket there, he done his job by just distracting Kalios long enough for leave to find picks for everybody else. Well, he's dead. Uh, that's unlucky. He thought there was a little bit of a, <laughs> little bit of a doorway there. He could stand in. Not quite. Not quite, unfortunately. <laughs> Things did not go according to plan. That was not a window for you to jump through. Meanwhile, Monk and Gaga, they're gone. Ivelto does find leave, and that's actually the reason what happens, but Ivelto's going in, the Battle Mercy that we were looking at. So Ivelto managed to go right back, heal up Yakung, and build into that next round of a Valkyrie. Any sort of real estate, but you have to look out for these dragons trying to block that rotation, the Diva Bomb. The Hunters are sending out everything that they have here as Friday activating the Valk. Trying to get the res, does get it on Guangbong, but the Pulse Bomb on to leave immediately after. The rest of the team here, the Hunters also having the res, but look at their positioning. They're holding them back by the choke point, but Jinmu won't be in this fight. He can't build up this EMP. Find the contest on the point. The Dragons do a fair bit of damage to Gargar, and he ends up going down. Now to boost on to Late Young to keep him alive in this fight. He's also with the Valkyrie, too, to keep the rest of the Hunters sustained. But with the Transcendence now coming in from Jonak, they need to find these picks. The NYXL. They're winning in terms of numbers. Leaf won't be in this fight. Jinmu has an EMP, huge EMP onto five, but nobody else to follow up for when you have those minefields blocking your rotation onto the points. They're still not giving this up yet, though. Jaws, the NYX are still finding numbers, but so are the Hunters. But the Hunters have less of an advantage when you have your heads just falling right back into the spawn. Doesn't want to switch to the Diva because he has grab, but now Jinmu's very free. Oh, and the grab gets sent out, but the dragon's coming in, preventing that rotation. The diva bomb finding Jonak. Meanwhile, Kalios is stuck in the room, but the hunters now are going to hold this position a minute. Little bugs sometimes, by the looks of it, the little green things, but <laughs> not frozen. It does things. a lot. Bricks almost. Ooh, Jin who goes down. Gong bong, yeah, dropping down from the window. Now the NYXL, a free real estate. Monk just trying to get away, but that may not happen. Yeah, for sure. Send Kalios. Having that upper lip to deal with him, but he gets shut down. Kalios making sure that Jimmu oh. doesn't get away with murder, and Monk goes down right with him. He's also trying to get away, but you can't go anywhere. When Kalios made, made this switch to the D.Va, you called it perfectly, Jaws. This is exactly what you need when you have so much poke damage coming in from the Hunters. Jonah carried that fight single-handedly. A minute remains. Fight that EMP, though. That EMP finding five and an anti on to late young. The NYXL are kicking things up, but the hunters are coming right back, finding Jonak and Guangong just trying to clean up any stragglers. But with Gaga going down with the supercharger, look how much damage that they've been taking with Monkey Volto having to come back. Someone needs to stop the NYXL now, but you currently have the hunters that can't even touch the points. They can't even stay on the payload. The Diva Bombs found two in the spawn, and now the Primal's gonna push the rest of the hunters back in. Oh my goodness! Can't the supports it. carry. 10 seconds remaining now. Nano onto the Winston. 
Oh, yep, Nanabus already going in. Gaga also getting hit with an anti. Jonek taking a lot of pressure, but backing off in time. Kalios finishing things off on Jinmu. There's that pressure that won't be there as Ivelto was split up with some attention, getting that res on to leave. Now the NY Excel does get a quick little hack on Monk, but Monk has a nano boost, and here comes the Dragons. Nice hold. Jinmu still holding onto the barrage, but Kalios just jumping right into that line of fire as Jinmu has the rocket barrage, but they get off. Too much. It's HP that just dives straight in. Just get a hack. Perfect. Jorak oh instantly evaporates. This is exactly what we saw in Hanamura, actually, from both Jinmu and Gaga. Although Gaga trades that, Monk won't be in this fight either. And it's looking like the NYXL come out on top. Not only that, but the amount of damage that they were able to put on in that room alone forces. Is, is sitting in a position, he's just so good at just knowing where they're going to be. But the problem is, wow. leaves arrows a little bit better. <laughs> and both the supports are the first ones to go down from the NYXL. It's a matter of time before the NYXL drop down like dominoes. And now the Hunters... They successfully waver them off. Goes down. Gaga wins this trade. Monk also has a transcendence, but a rally for a rally. Friday already bursting through that first. Jonek doesn't have the transcendence just yet. Needs it desperately, but the EMP isn't going to even let Jonek have the transcendence. The Hunters have cleaned up the NY Excel, and there is that golden box of victory. Hunters have successfully taken map number down Gaga's shield before the rest of the Hunters take some space in that room. It's going to be Lee finding Bonbon's head. It's going to be the sniper not going to be able to pressure a lot of these long range we were talking about earlier. Meanwhile, Kalio is getting demacked and the NY Excel are dropping like flies. Despite that though, you have to focus Joknak. He does go down, but he's taking Lee with him. Flora also finding a pig, but with the Hunters successfully still on this cart, it's the NY Excel that are going to have to reset real quick. But they will come back second and then jump back in oh, oh my god again that's crazy <laughs> the Lee rally is, uh, is nothing uh, just a nutcase his arrows i swear have magnets on them for your head the fact that he gets it every time when he's falling down too is just insane he just knows where to fixate that cursor but now the rally is not there from friday and the emp coming in Kalios goes down. They do find some trades here. Floor is being a threat on the back line, trying to find Valto, who has a Discord on them, but with Monk and the Transcendence, it's going to be a lot more difficult. You may want to back off. Friday's going to go down again. But now Gwambon's back into the action. Not for long, as Monk finds his head. And now the Hunters clearing up this payload. Just a matter of time before Flora goes down. It was a 2v1 turned to a 3v1 as uh, Jim who made his way back. It's still going to be able to stall, but it gets a Sombra a little bit more difficult. How was uh, Flora carrying that fight there or went for the potential carry? He picked off two people as well. And it's Lee that has that Dragons trying to block out these rotations as they are still on the high ground. Lee takes a lot of damage, but the minefields prevent the rest of the Hunters from backing off. They trade that for Friday and late young though, as Kalios and Diva Bomb get a lot more out of it. Lee taking some pressure, but his off angles are forcing the NYXL to split some of that attention. And just like you mentioned, Jaws, the Discord Orb and Flora being able to get... Velto's gonna have that rally. Just hanging out in the hallway, trying to block here. Floor goes down, not giving up this space. Quite literally, I've also looked at that transcendence and said, I'm not giving this ground up. Now, Kwon Pong's found Gaga with the Dragons and the NYXL. Very winnable as they make their rollout from the spawn. They're still contesting the payload, and Kwon Pong's found Leaves Head. The Hunters back to the drawing board, but look how close they were on getting that second point, Jaws. Oh, he kills him. <laughs> Because they have this Arisa, they can slowly kind of move Ooh. their shield up already. An arrow plus a couple of orbs ends the Hanzo's life. MYX now are now down on that. Beat that too. Oh, Leave still finding these picks here. And they have three ultimates to work with, but maybe not for long as Flora gets a double kill with the Pulse Bomb. Leave has the Dragons, but every single time the Hunters get some sort of extension, the NYXL. Well, oh, I say scurrying away. Oh, he gets right back in the action and finds Jonak too. The Diva Bomb getting the follow up after that EMP. Late Young with the perfect timing on that. It's a matter of time before Punk falls too. The rest of the NYXL getting sent straight back to the spawn. It's a cheeky player. It's going to help stabilize everything for the Hunters. Ignore those minefields, get rid of them, and now Leave is on the high ground. He has positioning here where he can just look at the rest of the rest of NYXL, move from the spawn, and they've tripled into this room. You're getting sandwiched here. The Hunters are still fighting all these fights. The NYXL have not been able to put a toe on this payload. Are they going to be able to boot Kalios away? Yes, they are. Nice. Stun bash by Yveltal. One minute and seven seconds. Leon already moving all the way up to help out Gaga. Jimmu just trying to find this opportunity. Delete 
hits the immortality field, but he takes so much damage, they don't let him get away. Kalios making sure they Volto can't heal him fully. Even though he was trying to commit to the res, they find Ivalto, but the Hunters are still winning here. The spawn doors are right there for the NYXL, so right before they get out of those spawn doors, they're gonna keep up that pressure, and the Hunters are forced to reset before blocking out that next one. He gets saved up. Monk does have this Nana boost. No blade here, but Ivalto going down leaves a month just to keep everybody else alive. Jinmu has that nano boost, but you see he has to play a lot more passively because he gets deleted. And that's what happens when you have Kalios here beating you down, even without some of that energy. Now the NYXL. The NYXL. Kalios is trying to get still more of that energy. The Hunters have that positional advantage. They're looking great here despite trading Jinmu, who's been taking a lot of that initial damage, but he's going to be able to come back with the blade. And Monk is going to have the super, the nano boost. Forced to back off here as the NYXL clears some space for themselves. And Gaga still contest. Gaga is so very easy. Yeah, that's why we've got the leader of the EMP now in the blade moving in. The nano blade. Jonek goes down. The immortality field, even though it saved Kalos on Friday, it doesn't matter because three of the NYXL are gone as Dudemu gets that 3k, make it four, and the rest of the hunters clean up shop. Now they're going to be able to move up into position, and the NYXL have does send out that dome and Flora's right there to help them out. They want to make sure they do something about Ivalto, and they do exactly that as Kalio shuts down that rally and Yapung shuts down Monk. No support from the Hunters and no sustainability left. You see Gaga still trying to contest for as long as possible, but it's not going to be for very long here, Jaws, as the Hunters, it's just a matter of time before the NYXL get the second point. Uh, I really think Jimmy should switch off this Genji now. Put to sleep though to wait that out, waste that nano boost, and hack two while he's at it. Meanwhile, though, Floor getting another post bump double kill. He's been so consistent with these and finding both of the tanks. Ooh, talk about that. Now Jin is gonna move in with the blade. That's a green light here. Ready, set, go. And now the rest of the hunters, they know that they can take right back with this control on the point and the NY. Kalos with the grab though, can launch it in at any moment. Oh, not. not anymore! He gets launched back to the spawn, and so does Yapung! Leave! Terrorizing these tanks. Now another anti onto Gaga. Trade that here, but the Hunters, their spawn is right behind them, Jaws. And now with another win with this team fight, the NYXL have... Now here comes the grab from Late Young. Only catching Friday, but that's gonna be a great first pick as the rally won't be here to start things off for the NYXL. There's an atom boost, but Lee finding Kalios too, off to the side. There's a straggler, he doesn't let him get away. Yopung, meanwhile, is on the other side, closer to the Hunter's spawn, and he actually gets the boop here with the Primal. It also goes down, and so does Monk, and that's gonna be a great start for the NYXL, forcing the Hunters back. That's clearing some space, and both the tanks have to get out of here. Floor doesn't let Gaga get away. All this space right now. Exactly, Sashley says the Hunters have more ultimates. Here comes the Dragons to stop the rotation, but then the multi core to double down on that. That's the problem. That's why this swap was so important from Jinmu. This is the opportunity for the Hunters to solidify their win, and they do. Three to one. The Hunters are just so quick and clean. The Hunters are just on another level, honestly. They are one to be feared in the Countdown Cup, especially in this hero pool. We bid adieu to the NYXL after that one. A valiant attempt, honestly. They did end up taking their second map against the Hunters this year in the series. It was Hanamura.